Okay, so in our first real lesson on working with Alpine JS, we're going to talk about two things. The first is installation. Now, being a simple, lightweight framework, installation is just copying and pasting a script tag. Like, that's it. Super, super simple. Uh, those of you who have seen CodePen before know that you can actually install libraries via settings, but in this case, I'm showing you the HTML just so you get an idea of how hard it is to work with Alpine. Uh, you don't need to use NPM, you don't need to set up a build process, just a script tag, a lot like jQuery. Now, this brings up another really important thing. If you are coming to Alpine from jQuery, you know that when you work with jQuery, you can write code that does anything anywhere. So if I want to change the text in that H1 tag, if I want to change the, the text in this P tag, modify the form, etc. jQuery and really vanilla JavaScript in general just lets you work with anything in the DOM at all. Alpine is a bit unique in that it wants you to tell it, hey, where am I going to be doing stuff? You know, what part of the page do I care about? Now, normally that should not be a hard thing to do. So if I'm looking at this HTML and I see a div that holds a form and another div, and I kind of know that I'm going to be making this interactive and have uh, features and you know, validation, stuff like that. I know the part of this page that I care about. So with Alpine, we're going to signify that by adding X data. Now we're going to be putting a lot more there to actually kind of build an application and do something. But typically you will see an Alpine application start off with the X dash data. And again, that is saying that I only care about this particular div. This is where I'm going to do my work. And that's it.